Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix a bowed gate post. So I ran into the issue where the top of my gate was hitting the post with the latch. Now, uh, the gate itself was square and this is what took me a little while to figure out what the problem was. Uh, the gate was square but it was hitting so the gate wasn't sagging. After a while I figured out the post that is holding the gate on start to bow under the weight of the gate guys I mentioned this in my quick tip of the week video about sizing a gate post don't use 4x4 use uh, at least a 5x5 five five because over time just under the weight of the gate the post will start to bow but what I'll do right now is I'll show you what we have to work with and then we'll do material and tools all right guys so this is our post uh, this is our latch side so the gate opens this way. So up here you can see the wear because this is starting to hit this post. Uh, yeah, hit the post. So when it comes across, you can see now that it's hitting. So guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you first how to make sure that the gate is actually square because if your gate is sagging, that is one issue in itself. Alright guys, the first thing we're going to do is check to see if the gate is square. So to do this, you go from the corner of one side to the corner of the other side, and then you repeat it. So the gate is within a quarter inch from corner to corner, corner to corner. The gate's within a quarter inch. So the gate is relatively square. So what we'll do now is we're going to check the fence post. All right, so this is our four foot level and you can see how we're touching the line. So there is how much of a space between the level. That means that this has gone in that way by about a half inch. But I will show you now how to re-straighten this post. All right guys, this is our material list. So I've got inch and a half deck screws, I've got three inch deck screws, and then I have a couple pieces of uh, pressure treated plywood. So guys, this is actually how you buy it in these uh, two inch strips. These strips are for siding, so you have something to mount the siding to on top of the Tyvek or whatever building wrap that you're using. So what we'll do now is a tools list. Alright, this is our tools list. So I've got my four foot level, safety glasses, earplugs, cordless kit, I think I only really need the impact, scale saw, hand tools, so measuring tape, hammer, and then I have the extension cord in the back. Guys, this is what I believe I need for tools for this job, so let's get started. All right, so the top hinge here, I'm gonna leave this on because this doesn't need to move, but the bottom hinge needs to come off because I'm gonna have to shim the very bottom to straighten out the post. All right guys, something to take note. How this is all rusty, this wasn't galvanized, which it should have been. I, I've corrected that mistake with the latch. And deck screws. Even deck screws that are meant to be outside start rusting away as you can see here. But with the upper latch left on and now the, sorry, with the upper hinge left on and the lower hinge removed, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab some plywood because we need to kick this side out. We need to shim the bottom to straighten out the post. Okay, so knowing that this is plumb, you can either throw a level on that side or you can measure the distance from the top of the post to that side and then the bottom of the post to the bottom. So the bottom is about a half inch farther out so this is moved in a half inch so instead of doing anything up here what we're going to do is we're going to shim the bottom and then we're going to make a new edge all the way down
Okay, so we see the old imprint of the hinge. So our piece of wood is gonna fit just right where the hinge is. There's no point in putting a big piece all the way across when you're only attaching in this one area here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this on to, uh, at the top and to the bottom, and that's gonna hold this in place. Okay, so we have our bottom shim in place so i moved it a little bit higher guys don't reuse the same holes as you used before because under the weight of the gate and just seasonal stress the holes are probably stripped out so they're probably no good to use but now that we have our new shim in place so we're touching there and you can see how this is a little bit more than what we need so that is what plum is right there but Keep in mind that this post is going to continually to go inwards. So by over correcting, we're giving ourselves more time before we have to address this again. And hopefully the next time this needs to be addressed is when the post needs to be replaced because it's rotted out at the base. All right, to screw the hinge on, I'm gonna use three inch deck screws. We wanna go through this and we wanna go a fair bit of the way through our posts as well so it'll be stronger. All right, so before mounting the gate, uh, guys, in my case, the ground slopes down this way, so this is the high end. If you go too low here, then your gate's gonna wind up hitting the ground somewhere here. So what I suggest is, at the high end back here when it's wide open, that is where you wanna prop it up on a couple blocks, so you make sure that you have enough space underneath the gate between the ground and the gate. Remember, more than likely, stuff is going to start to shift around and sag over time so by making sure you have an ample space underneath you're going to avoid that problem all right guys with the gate remounted we're gonna see if it works. And it does, and now we have a bigger space at the top. So this is going to work for the next little while. Like I said in my other video, I think I, I sized the, uh, the gate post too small so it started bowing. But I mean, everything worked out. Guys, one thing that I didn't mention, make sure that you mount the gate at the same height because if this is too low or too high, it's not gonna hit the latch. But what we'll do now is no review this job. All right guys, so that concludes this project. So really what you're trying to do here is to straighten out a bowed post. You need to shim uh, the one end that is, I guess not, not moving the top is is bending inward it's bowing inward but instead of shaving or planing the top just shim the very bottom to straighten everything out it's simpler it's faster and you'll achieve the same result the time on this job the time was about an hour and a half i mean i had a little bit of problems trying to hold the gate in place while i was uh trying to screw it in. The gate is not exactly the lightest thing in the world and when you only have one set of hands, it uh, things to take a little bit longer. But I didn't run into any problems, so I'm confident this is going to buy me more time. But really, I mean, this is a Band-Aid fix. To properly fix this, I would suggest just go up into uh, a five by five gate post. But I, I'm not gonna do that. Either the post will rot out, and then I will go ahead and do that, or there will be, I'll just keep band-aid fixing it until probably that happens, because I'm not interested in, in going over the top with this if I don't need to, at least not at this point in time. The cost of this job, uh, the screws and a little bit of wood, 
I would say it's $5. It's, uh, it's almost nothing. Guys, don't make my mistake here where uh, I don't remember why, but uh, I think I had these hinges and they're not galvanized and I just decided to throw them on instead of going out and spending money on galvanized hinges. Holding on to another set of hinges that I don't know if I'm going to use at uh, any point in time in the near future. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. hope something here is going to help you on your project when you need to go ahead and do that. Guys, till next time, please hit the like button subscribe and I'll see you on the next project.